Hey there guys, GamersX here, yes I have solved the problem of all Battlefield 4 problems, the performance FPS stuttering. When the game released, many gamers reported the game lags FPS wise so it stutters even on some high end machines. I had the same problem guys, with an AMD Hexacore processor with the frequency of 4GHz having more than enough power to handle Battlefield 4. For my GPU I have the GTX 760 with 2GB being somewhere in the top middle or at the bottom of high end cards. On some maps I experienced less than 30 FPS while looking in the center of the map. A great example was on the top of the roofs in Domination on Flood Zone, so I decided to take a look upon this horrific problem. First I decided to reinstall the game, that's your first bet guys. If something isn't working properly, maybe it's due to some damaged files in your directory, so replace those files with the new ones. If the first step was unsuccessful, continue on checking your GPU drivers. Test if there are some slight enhancement with different older or newer drivers. Try out the beta drivers. Some Nvidia users solved the problem just by doing this step. But if you are still unlucky, check if the CPU might be the problem or your bottleneck here. There's a great thread on Reddit performance-wise how to remove stuttering by so-called unparking your CPU cores. Basically there's an utility, a program which can somewhat unlock your cores to be always functional, nevertheless they're in idle. So if Windows doesn't use that core it simply puts it to sleep mode to preserve lifespan and battery. About 50% of Intel gamers reported that unparking cores method truly increased their FPS up to an additional 50%. So if you're stuttered from performance in Battlefield 4 and you are using Intel processors, this just might do the trick. The Metis is also effective on AMD processors, but not as much as on Intel's. Though if the problem still persists, the next method is the one which saved my game from an installment. Windows 8 used on an SSD disk. That's it. Simple and easy. A long time ago I got an idea to buy myself an SSD, simply to fasten my boot times and my game load times. Then I did some research on whether or not the SSD does impact on FPS performance. Mostly like 95% of the time it doesn't. But there are exceptions, like Battlefield 4 or DayZ standalone, where the, where the SSD is your best friend next to the CPU. So I decided to go for the Windows 8.1 Pro. The installation is fairly simple, then I also installed the game on Dimension Drive, updated my GPU drivers and I was ready to play. Before my PC update I had to play on medium to high settings, sometimes on e even on low, with 30 to 80 FPS. Now I can freely play on Ultra with all post processing effects from 60 to 120 FPS. Last time I joined the Flood Zone I was furious against EA and DICE, now all of a sudden we're like BFFs, chatting sharing ice cream, going for long walks, etc, etc. So that was my experience and solution to all Battlefield 4 problems. I encourage you to try all the solutions here. You just might get your answer. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial slash adventure story of how I defeated the Battlefield 4 performance problems. If you did, a like and a subscribe is appreciated, as we'll see you next time, because our little community shall grow. Bye bye.